Hello and welcome to Wonderville. I'm Sabina and I'm Danielle and in today's quick tip video we're going to chat about maker spaces in the STEM classroom. So this term and practice has been around for a while and I'm sure you guys have heard of it before but what exactly is a maker space and what does that look like to support a STEM classroom? Well a maker space is a learning environment that really supports innovation and creativity. And so, like we said, you might know about this physical space, but today we're going to focus on the mindset of a makerspace. Mm -hmm. And that is about supporting your students in that can-do mindset and really setting mm -hmm. them up for success in that. So it's shifting from the set of knowledge acquisition to a learning environment that focuses on collaboration, creativity, and innovation, and using mm -hmm. hands-on materials to focus on real-world problems. Oh, and the real world problems is just it's one of the most exciting elements really of is, it, yeah. I find. And by engaging your students in hands-on learning and directly integrating it into the curriculum, it really helps them to create their own knowledge by creating, creating doing, and integrating with or interacting with physical objects. And they then can apply a context to their understanding of STEM concepts, which really increases the, the meaning for them. And by um, directly experiencing the making process, so the design thinking process, mm -hmm. especially like the ideation process and prototyping, um, it also helps to build their STEM competencies. I usually find it's really the critical thinking and the problem solving that yeah. really shines through. Definitely. And so a makerspace, like we were saying, is a great opportunity for and a tool for project-based learning and design thinking mindset and that process. So open-ended projects and to help plan or make that experience possible for your students, you might want to consider these elements. Mm -hmm. Alignment. Align it directly with your STEM outcomes. The day is already busy enough. Um, ensure that it really connects well with your learning outcomes and incorporate a real-world problem like Danielle said before or look at what the local issues are in your community to make it meaningful for them. And it's all about being hands-on so it's really really important what tools and what materials you provide your students. Mm -hmm. You want them to have a purpose, you don't want them to be wasteful so making sure that your tools and materials connect to the STEM concept and the skill that you want your student to learn is super important. Mm, definitely, and planning. Help your students to work through a really detailed plan. You know, create that format for them so they can go through that successfully. And have them go through the ideation process multiple times before they create their, their final prototype or, or structure. And this will really help them to keep on task and use their time efficiently. Yep, and so a few activities that can help your students get into that makerspace mindset is to challenge them to build a skate park for their community. So have yeah. tie-in motion and forces and have them build a prototype out of just cardboard or tape. Or another example is they can build a balloon powered car. Oh cool. Yep, super yeah. fun and you can bring in CAD design or even 3D printing for that. And then another example of course is uh, building bridges that will withstand an earthquake and kind of going into your geology studies. Mm. Really, and connecting it with other class uh, subjects wherever you course, can. That yeah. really increases the, the meaningfulness of it and helps you with your learning objectives for your students. So now it's your turn. We invite you to use the makerspace mindset to support one of your STEM learning outcomes in, your, in an upcoming series of lessons or you could even do it in a project. Yep, so check out, we have some design thinking resources on Wonderville and other videos that will be helpful to get you in that planning, in that ideation stage for what you can do for your students. Definitely, and if you're looking at using a makerspace a mindset for the first time and you don't quite have your, your physical environment, we also have some links to help you set up the physical environment. Now, it does take a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. It really is, mm -hmm. it's awesome, and the kids love it too. So yeah. thank you for joining us. I'm Danielle. And I'm Sabina. And until next time, we're, we're your, your wonderful, wonderful teachers. teachers.